Hi guys, my name is Jordan, and you're watching Geo and Dan. About me one more time before you go. I've been feeling this way for far too long. Hello, everyone. Please excuse how I look. I'm in my decorating phase and didn't feel like I needed hair and makeup to be able to do that. <laughs> but we are decorating my daughter's room for her birthday, which is tomorrow. So we are going to surprise her with the whole new room. She asked for an ocean themed bedroom. So all of her pictures that she chose, let me show you what her inspiration was. <laughs> oh, I love her. I had her go through Pinterest and kind of just give me some ideas of what she's thinking. And you guys, this was her number one thing that she was thinking. I don't know if you can see that. But full on blue, purple paint, ceiling all done up. Bed is either handmade or a very expensive bed. But there was no way we were going to achieve this. So we went with something that's a little more neutral, has some color in it, but isn't like ocean threw up all over her bedroom. So. We're excited. It's going to be great. I'm re-cleaning her room. Wish us luck that we can get this done <laughs> in two days and be able to keep her out of it so we can surprise her and show you guys her reaction. I am so excited. So let's get into this video. This is a before of our daughter's room. Remember, I already organized and cleaned it. It's messy right now. So this is what we're working with before we do the makeover. So we've got all of her shelves, all of her little butterflies that are gonna come off. The bedding's gonna stay, but it will of course be made and look nice. And the nightstand and desk and shelf are gonna stay, but all of this is gonna come down, and that's gonna come down. We're gonna hang things. The closet is just her not pushing things in and hanging things up. But all of my organization stuff has stayed nice. She just hasn't been very great at putting her dirty clothes in the dirty clothes putting your drawers in and hanging things up. If anyone's got any tips, please <laughs> let me know. But this is a before and I can't wait to show you how I finish it because it's gonna be awesome, guys. Okay, I got these pillows from Amazon. I've got these pillow covers from Amazon. I got a bit of a darker color just because we're gonna blend in a bunch of different blues. We are moving those shelves to a different wall. I also got these bars from Walmart, not affiliated, so that I can hang cool and lights above her bed. And we'll see how that turns out. It's gonna be super cute. So if you're wondering what's the point, what's the point of anything? To live your life, live your life, live it right now Cause you only get one Before the dawn, it's always dark Before the light, there is a tunnel Before you run, you gotta stumble When you fall in love, but it don't work out When you
because they are command strips instead of nailing things into my ceiling. And I just got them from the bathroom section of patching up some of the holes on the wall, but pictures are going to go over them anyway, so not a big deal. So I bought two at Walmart, not affiliated that I am going to stream over her bed and then I'm going to put lights in it so that it glows. Instead of doing a full canopy all over her bed like she wanted, I thought this would give her kind of the same effect, but yeah. We may have to go get some more tool to make it a little bit fuller, but I just wanted to put up what we had and see what it looks like. Cause I miss the way you make me feel just runs like a spinning wheel why don't you run away with me I bought five sets of these lights and I used zip ties to adhere them together. I also used zip ties to tie the sheer fabric to the bars at the top of the ceiling just so that they didn't get pulled out when she's making the bed or things like that.
For these twinkle lights, I use safety pins and pin them to the back of the curtains. And each strand had a twist tie, so I safety pinned all of them first, and then I took off the twist ties and pulled down the strands. It just made it easier so everything didn't get all tangled up. Take it hard, love. We'll be okay, be okay. Keep talking forever, then I don't get where this thing goes. So sick of waiting for nothing, but all I want. We did make a shell garland. It was just him cutting it out on the laser. We didn't paint it or anything, and then we strung it with twine. So if you're interested in any of the things that we've made, email us at geoanddan1 at gmail.com and I will put that here in the video so that you know how it's spelled. But we would love to make any of the things that we made for you. So yeah, we're gonna hang this now on her shelf that we are still finishing, still getting things for and all of that. But today's her birthday, so we're trying to get as much of it done as Humanly possible. Yeah, I get the blurry vision is helping when I'm stumbling in the dark. Uh, as soon as I'm feeling something, I just take another shot. Stupid friends try to bring me to my senses, but I want to stay this We did make this to go on her shelf. So this is another one that you can email us if you want us to make you something like this. So I get a little drunk on a Monday night by myself. Staying up all night so I don't just lay and think about you. It's okay, but I'm all messed up. Just kidding. 
can't let go. Okay, guys, this is almost the final reveal of her room makeover. There are a few more things coming in the mail that we're waiting for and a few more things that we're making, but I wanted to show you what it looks like for her birthday. And you guys, I'm in love with it. So we already had the blue bedding that we bought for Christmas. So it just kind of tied in wonderfully with what we wanted. We got new throw pillows, which are the dark blue. We wanted lots of different blues because we were going with a blue and purple theme for the ocean. And so we felt like those were great. And the dark blue matches her pillowcases and sheets. So all kind of tied together. And then we got her a cute little seashell pillow. I thought it was bigger, but it's a lot smaller than I thought, but it still is adorable. And then we made this lily sign. I'm in love. I think it turned out adorable. I'll get a little close up of it so you guys can see. But it has different ocean shapes in it. We left the back of it natural wood and then painted the top portions purple but so it's two layers of wood the top layer was the shapes and the bottom layer is just a piece of wood that's laser cut into the shape of the letter and then we lined it up and put it on our wall but you guys it just adds so much to the room and i think it is so cute so if you are interested in anything like this a name sign doesn't have to be ocean themed really any theme but you want a name sign please reach out to us at geoandan1 at gmail.com i will put that here as well as in the description and just let us know what you want we love doing custom orders and yeah i just i just love it i think it turned out so cute and we're going to do different name signs for each of our kids for their rooms because we're making over all of their rooms. Our daughter and son share a room and so we're trying to do a gender neutral room and so then we felt like it was only fair to then do our oldest daughter's room as well because she was very into Harry Potter and now is a teen and is not. So we're redoing her room as well. So you guys will be able to come along with us as we do all those and I will make sure to do tutorials for all the things that we make. But this is probably my favorite. We got bars, hand towel bars from Walmart and these ones came with command strips so that we didn't have to nail into the ceiling and it was just long enough and short enough to fit the tool, which I love. And then we strung lights up around and I'll get closer. The lights are different uh, ocean themed lights. So a mermaid tail, a starfish, another mermaid tail, seashell, and on and on. But I just loved that it blended in so well. The tool, we wanted a white tool, but ended up with a very light blue tool. And you can hardly tell, but it matches very well with the purple and blue theme. And then these pictures we got from Timu, and I will link that down below in my description box if you are interested in going to get any of those. You guys, they were super cheap and they are good quality. They look really good. And then the frames we got off of Amazon, I'll link those as well. They are just magnetic frames. So the top has two pieces that magnetize together and magnetize together on the bottom. And I was a little hesitant on what I would think about them, but I think they are just beautiful. They look so good. And it brings in that ocean vibe. And again, the purples and the blues go so well with all the colors in the room. So I just, love how it turned out and then we got this off of Timu as well it is just fairy lights and they come with these little clear clips for them to clip their pictures on so we did thumbtacks and just did it in this zigzag position and I just love it and I think she's going to love being able to put all of her Polaroids 
and things like that on it that that she wants to be able to see every day. Probably my favorite piece of the room that we got is this lamp. You guys, I'm in love. I got this from Amazon, I believe. It was Amazon or T-Moon, I'll link it down below. But it changes different colors. It's just adorable. I love that it swirls inside. You guys, I'm just in love with this lamp. So yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for the cute stuff. But it just went so well with the theme. And then over here, we put a beluga well picture that we got off of Timu and the frames from Amazon. And I just think it turned out really, really cute. And then we also got this little whale that turns colors. It's kind of a silicone, silicone uh, whale, but you can tap it to turn it off or if it will change or turn it off or tap it again and it will go to just white or you tap it again and it goes to the different colors. And I just thought that was such a cute I just thought that was such a cute addition to her room and tied in with the theme. And we moved this shelf. It was over on the other wall, as you saw in the before. Pretty simple right now. We've got some things coming that I'm gonna decorate it with. And then this desk, you guys, I'm in love. She wanted a desk in her room so bad because she likes to do her arts and crafts and she likes to do her makeup. She's getting into those teen years and wants to be able to get ready. So I found this cute little mirror from Timu and then I found this adorable bench from Amazon and it has its lid comes off so she can store stuff inside there if she wants. But she was always complaining that she didn't have a chair and the chairs that we were putting up here were so bulky that it blocked any way for her to move around in her room. So I love this because we can tuck it underneath the desk and it just looks adorable. And then we got her this little wicker lamp because I felt like that was very beachy. And then she has some extra light. And then I also got her this from Timu, which is a makeup a brush holder, but I put all of her little makeup in it, her chapsticks and her lipsticks and her eyeshadows and her blush and then she's got her brushes and her eyeliner and things like that inside of there so it's all there for her to do her makeup in the morning put her brush in her drawer it just is perfect for her and then i put up her calendar her whiteboard calendar here so that she can keep track of what she has going on in the week and then you guys her curtains we had there before, but we kept them because they have these pearls on them. And that just felt very beachy to me. Pearls in the ocean, you know? And then the lights that we got are a blue and purple. And I just thought those were perfect with the theme. I'm actually debating getting another set just so we can scrunch it a little bit more and have a little bit more light come through. But I think it's really, really cute. And then for Christmas, she asked for a stuffed animal hammock and I was very against it <laughs> because I'm a clean freak and I don't want the stuffed animals on the wall. But this one from Timu, I just felt like was really cute and elegant and I loved the boho look. I love the boho look of it and it's not overflowing. She still has stuffed animals in her closet in a basket but I felt like this way she had some of her stuffed animals out here that she could enjoy and look at. And my girl is obsessed with her stuffed animals. So I just thought it looked beautiful. And then these are her shelves. I still have a lot to do with it. And there's things coming. We'll probably change out pictures, stuff like that. But I love how the little garland turned out and we made that. And then we made these little surfboards they are double layered so there's a layer underneath that we painted and then we put the top portion on and I just think they're so cute so we had a turtle one we made a palm tree one we made a pineapple one and we made a flower one and 
guys, I just am in love. And then we also made this seashell shelf sitter, and it's a bit bigger than the other shells on the garland. But again, that's something we can make you. Just email us. And then we got this otter picture for her. Her favorite thing in the world is otters. So that's why the ocean theme came about. We made the frame. We do need to figure out how to stretch the picture a bit more so it's not wrinkled, but that will take place in a few days. And then we also had another otter picture that we're gonna put up on there or hang up on the wall. It's an otter in a bathtub, it's so cute. So we're gonna get that framed and either put it on the shelf or hang it somewhere on the wall when we have the chance. But yeah, you guys, that is it. I think it turned out so cute. I think she's gonna be so excited about it when she sees it today. I just think it's so warm and inviting and every 11 year old's dream. I can't wait to add the few extra things. I got like a, a glowing jellyfish that I'm gonna hang from one of the corners of the ceiling. I did get some lights that are circular, that almost look like bubbles to me, but I think she has so much going on with the lights that I think it's gonna be too much. So I probably won't put those in hers and probably use that in one of the other kids' rooms. I hope you enjoyed this makeover and let me know if you guys like this sort of thing. I really enjoyed doing it and I can't wait to do it with my other kids' rooms. And yeah, let me know if there's anything you think I should change, anything I should add. Anyways, I just love it and I'm happy that I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos. There's several things in Do you like it? Lift the chair seat. <laughs> and that bench can tuck underneath your thing so then it's not in your way. And look, Maggie, Lily. Oh. You just sit and do your makeup with your mirror. You See what? Wait, your yeah, daddy made you really sad. The well changed its color. And the whale! No, it's a blue whale. Well. Maybe it is a The whale, this whale changes colors well. Maybe it is a dolphin. No, it's a dolphin. Lily, look. Tap it twice, but it changes colors. Cord for it to charge it. What do you think about daddy's surfboard? And your garland. And the honor. There's plenty more stuff coming, but you like this? We are waiting for the frame. Otter in the back. It's calm. You're gonna ruin it. And Daddy needs to do some painting on your walls to fix some things. Yeah, it's because the light is helping deal with you. Wait, yeah, it's on the I figured that would be a good place for you to sit and do your makeup and do your art. And then look, your closet is all organized. Everything is organized. Stuffed animals, dirty clothes, your toys, your other toys. Yes. What do you think? I can't wait till I see my Is that everything you dreamed of? Mommy, I can't wait till I see my room! Did you see these lights? Thank you all so much for watching this video. You guys truly have no idea how much it means to us that you take the time out of your day to watch our videos. You guys, we are halfway to a thousand subscribers and I know I have more than a thousand people that watch my videos. So please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribed. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a big giveaway and you have to be subscribed to be entered. Also. A lot of the things that we got are from Timu, and we are affiliates to them. We make very little, but we will link them down below so that you guys can go click on them and 
buy whatever you want to. We get credit just for you downloading the app. We get credit for you buying anything. So anything helps us. We also got a bunch of stuff from Amazon. We are Amazon affiliates, so we do get a small percentage, like pennies, for you buying anything from Amazon. So we will link everything we bought down in the description box. So please hit that bell and like this video and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Someday you'll know Someday you'll know And you know what I'm going to say I've been feeling this way for far too long